Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about what I call reverse engraving. So your normal engraving would be a black text, and I'm talking mainly this is for wood. I would think more so than probably any other product. So this is what your wood would look like, and this is what you're engraving. So this would all work out. But we don't particularly want to do it this time. We want something a little bit different, and you wouldn't probably use this piece of bigger piece of wood. But if you had a smaller, you know, smaller piece, and uh, you could do what I'm going to call reverse engraving. So you can see here that I've got my text, and I made a uh, a red hairline around it. But the, the text is actually white, so you because you can't see through it. Uh, if it was clear, so I'll just kind of show you as I'm going through the color scales, it's getting darker and darker, and finally to black. You don't want that. I mean, if if you think white doesn't engrave, well, it does for me. And on a on a normal piece of wood that you're going to sand off, it probably wouldn't matter because it's going to engrave it so lightly. But if you have somebody's plaque that's got a piano finish and a glossy finish, and it's going to take away that gloss ever so slightly. So what you need to do is you need to right or left click your mouse button on the text. And now you can see that it's transparent. There's nothing in there. And I usually normally use a yellow, a yellow box. So let's just draw another box. Fill it with yellow and just take our text and it's the same thing black or, or black or yellow and then you put it effects or object order to front of page and so it, you can see that you can see through the whole thing so just make sure it's clear so what we're going to do here we're going to take away this box and we're going to put this in the center of the page whoop i deleted it hit p on your keyboard put it in the center of the page and now we're going to take our text. And I'm just going to take my black text. And I'm going to go up to object, order, put it back a page so I won't hit the box. And then just left click your mouse. And I'm going to right click red just so I'll know. Because when you fill this in with black, you won't be able to see it as much, but the red will stand out. And then just take your smart fill tool and just do that and then you're going to, have to go back and hit a couple of these things and that will engrave but the letters will stand out and look like wood so when you know if you have this on a, a name tag for say the, the sometimes the letter is going to pop out a little bit more um, it's just a different effect uh, I personally don't really I'm not going to say I've got an opinion if it looks better or worse. Uh, in some cases, if you've got a lot of going on, you could re reverse engrave some of it and just standard engrave the other. And um, and just keep in mind that you do have a hairline around this. So you always want to make sure you take away the hairline before you would cut this out. Because if, if say if this is a name tag and you went to cut it out, it's going to cut out every one of those letters. You can see there, there's still a hairline. So there's two ways you can do that, but that maybe another video, but you could go up here and go no hairline, put none. And then there's really no way to get that back. I should have done this. I should have moved my nudge factor to point, it's point, 2.5 inches so it's pretty good I'm gonna go here I'm gonna put no feel and you could go up here and in left right click your mouse and then just hit the arrow key back so now you have no hairlines up there and you still got a hairline for the interior part of the the uh, name tag anyway I hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching